In the heart of a bustling village nestled between rolling hills and whispering forests, there lived a young man named Kaito. He was known throughout the village for his fiery temperament and inability to control his emotions. From the smallest inconvenience to the most significant setback, Kaito would erupt like a volcano, unleashing a torrent of anger, frustration, or despair. Despite his intelligence and skill, his emotions overshadowed his potential. His relationships were strained, his work erratic, and his dreams seemed ever out of reach. Kaito yearned for peace, but the storms within him raged on, leaving him exhausted and despondent. One fateful day, as Kaito wandered through the village in the grip of yet another emotional tempest, he heard whispers of a Zen master who resided in the mountains beyond the village. It was said that this master possessed the wisdom to quell even the mightiest of storms within the human heart. Driven by desperation and hope, Kaito embarked on a journey to find the Zen master. The path was treacherous, winding through dense forests and rugged terrain, but Kaito pressed on, fueled by the desire for inner peace. After days of arduous travel, Kaito finally reached the secluded mountain retreat where the Zen master dwelled. The master, a serene figure with eyes that seemed to hold the wisdom of ages, welcomed Kaito with a gentle smile. I have come seeking guidance, Kaito said, his voice trembling with emotion. I cannot control my feelings, and they hold me captive, preventing me from living a life of fulfillment and joy. The Zen master nodded knowingly. Emotions are like waves on the surface of the ocean, he said. They rise and fall, but beneath them lies the vast expanse of stillness. To find peace, you must learn to dive deep into that stillness, beyond the tumult of your emotions. Kaito listened intently, his heart heavy with longing. But how do I reach this stillness? he asked. The Zen master beckoned Kaito to follow him into the heart of the mountain forest. They walked in silence, the only sound the soft rustle of leaves beneath their feet. Eventually, they reached a tranquil clearing where a crystal clear pond shimmered in the dappled sunlight. Look into the pond, the Zen master instructed. Kaito gazed into the water and saw his reflection, distorted by the ripples caused by a gentle breeze. What do you see? the master asked. I see myself, Kaito replied. But my reflection is obscured by the waves. The Zen master nodded. Your mind is like this pond, he said. When your emotions are stirred, they create waves that distort your perception of reality. To see clearly, you must calm the waters of your mind. But how? Kato asked, feeling a glimmer of hope. The Zen master gestured toward a nearby tree. Sit beneath that tree and focus on your breath, he said. With each inhale and exhale, let go of your thoughts and emotions. Allow yourself to sink into the stillness that resides within you. With a sense of determination, Kaito followed the master's instructions. He closed his eyes and focused on his breath, letting go of the turmoil that churned within him. At first, his mind resisted, clinging to the familiar patterns of anger and frustration. But gradually, as he continued to breathe, he felt a sense of calm wash over him like a gentle tide. Time seemed to stand still as Kaito sat beneath the tree, enveloped in the embrace of stillness. The worries and anxieties that had plagued him for so long melted away, leaving behind a profound sense of peace. When he finally opened his eyes, Kaito felt as though he were seeing the world with fresh eyes. The colors seemed brighter, the air sweeter, and he felt a newfound sense of clarity and purpose coursing through his veins. Thank you he whispered to the Zen master, his voice filled with gratitude. The master smiled knowingly. Remember, Kaito, emotions are not to be feared or suppressed. They are a natural part of the human experience. But when you learn to find stillness within yourself, you can navigate the ebb and flow of life with grace and wisdom. 
With a deep sense of contentment, Kaito bid farewell to the Zen master and began the journey back to the village. Along the way, he encountered familiar faces and old acquaintances, but this time he approached them with a newfound sense of calm and compassion. As days turned into weeks and weeks into months, Kaito continued to cultivate the practice of mindfulness and stillness. He found that by embracing his emotions without being controlled by them, he was able to unlock new depths of creativity, resilience, and joy. His relationships blossomed, his work flourished, and his dreams began to take shape before his eyes. People marveled at the transformation that had taken place within him, but Kaito knew that the true miracle lay not in changing the world around him, but in finding peace within himself. And so the once tumultuous young man became a beacon of light and wisdom in the village, inspiring others to embark on their own journey of self-discovery and inner peace. And though the storms of life continued to rage around him, Kaito remained anchored in the calm center of his being, a testament to the transformative power of stillness and the boundless potential that lies within us all.